Feline walked easily through immigration, having donned a tweed jacket from the suitcase, and passed through the exit gates. England was quite a bit cooler than Texas. A young boyish man, dressed casually in jeans and a tan hoodie, approached him. Shaking his hand, he introduced himself as Brother Matthew from Williamsford. Follow me, sir. And they got into his grey Toyota, reaching the M1 quite easily, and cruised along the pleasant English countryside until they reached the dry, heather-covered Pennines. Williamsford Abbey was quite far off the beaten track, standing on one of the hills shrugged against the persistent winds and rains of the area. They stood for a moment before the ancient 8th century monastery and passed through the arched gates into the walled courtyard and entered the labyrinth. Here are your quarters. Put on this robe and be in the chapel in 30 minutes, please. With that, Brother Matthew faded into the surrounding buildings. Feline was once again in a cell, but this time the door key was in his hands. The late afternoon sun streamed through the open window that looked out onto a garden of shrubs and summer flowers. He stared at the crucifix above the writing table. The simple monk's bed was made up. He hung his clothes in the wardrobe and donned his black Franciscan monk's habit. He waited for the thirty minutes to pass and made his way to the chapel, taking a pew at the back. Frankincense filled the space and the low sounds of tenor voices echoed against the chapel walls. The abbot and his priests performed the ageless rituals, rising and falling with the conventions of the monastery. A light hand touched him on the shoulder. Brother Matthew smiled. The abbot will meet you tomorrow. Supper is in the refectory. We eat in silence. Morning meditation begins at 3 a.m. in this same chapel Sit on the right, in the fourth row. Good night. There were about twenty monks. Brother Matthew seemed to be about the only young one. All the rest were in their sixties, seventies and eighties, moving slowly, silently watching for the approach of death under the shadow of the crucified Saviour. Feline walked around the massive stone buildings that had stood for twelve hundred years, buffeted by wind and rains, enduring battles, monarchs, the movement of time in this ancient land whose early history lay forgotten in a pre-Roman fog. From the hilltop, he looked over the Pennines far into the distance, and the shadows of the spirits beckoned him. Frail and ancient Earth Mother looked at him from several hills distance. The spirit of the wind moved around him with just a hint of a threat in its sound.
the spirit of water became audible as the brook nearby gurgled over small rocks on its way to join the sea. He wondered at his mission. He had read the documents during the flight and was now acclimatizing to his new role, reverting back to the identity of Philip Green. Did he ever have a wife and child? He thought not. This was yet more fiction. He had to keep his intellect and mind so clear to distinguish the multiple layers of reality he was being subjected to. His training had prepared him well for this, so he was confident. Thank you.